All right, so welcome to CIS 20, uh, Access from Windows 1. Uh, this is our introductory course into Microsoft Access. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, so if you've not used Microsoft Access before, you'll uh, hopefully get the hang of it during the next, uh, what, eight weeks, I guess. Uh, so my name is Jeff. I'm your instructor. Um, we'll go over, uh, in this video, we'll go over uh, a few things, the syllabus just quickly, some parts of it, and then uh, kind of the getting started, what to expect, those kinds of things. All right. So let me just jump right into it really quickly. When you see uh, in our Canvas course, you'll see at the top, uh, the very first module, you'll see a few things listed here. The first one's a syllabus. That's this document over here. Uh, and we're not going to go through everything. I just, you can do that on your own time. Uh, but what I would like to do is just point out a few things. The first thing is how to get a hold of me. So I'm on campus. I'm a full-time instructor. I'm actually the programming, main programming instructor on campus. Uh, but uh, I love doing Microsoft Access. So I, I still, I, I hold on to this class and uh, the second level access course, just because I think it's fun. And, and a lot of times I see different students that I don't normally see. So looking through the roster, I've had several of you uh, before, but uh, if you're interested in programming or uh, any other, you know, computer science courses, you might see me in the future too. So maybe you take this and you're like, oh, this is kind of fun. What should I do next? And uh, we can talk about SQL and, and those kinds of things. So anyway, uh, we have uh, how to get a hold of me. All right. So this is my office phone. Uh, I put a little note here about contacting my email if not available by phone. So if you if I don't pick up the phone when you call, uh, you can leave me a message, but I only check my messages when I'm in my office. So the best way to get a hold of me uh, is always by email. So uh, you can use the inbox from Canvas, and that that works great too. Uh, that that gets gets uh, through and it you know posts right in Canvas and sends me a notification right away. Uh, so that's probably the best way. Uh, you can also just send me a direct email if you'd like to. So Jay Hendrickson at Shasta College edu. Um, so so definitely uh, definitely send me an email. So if I, like again, if I don't pick up the phone, uh, you know when you when you first call, then then uh, go ahead and. Uh, you know, send me a quick email. I'm usually pretty good about getting back to you uh, right away. Um, I will always get back to you within 24 hours. So if you send me a message and I haven't gotten back to you uh, within 24 hours, then that means something happened, I didn't get it or whatever. Uh, so, you know, send me a direct email at that point, maybe uh, to Jay Hendrickson, Chef's College at EU. I, I haven't had any problems with that, uh, but just in case. So, um, so that's that. So I would say start out using the inbox through, uh, through Canvas. And uh, if that doesn't work, then go ahead and shoot me an email. Sometimes our email uh, uh, filter gets a little aggressive and we'll, we'll filter out messages, but uh, the Canvas one should go through perfectly. So uh, anyway, so we have that. Uh, office, if you want to come by and see me, I'm on campus. I'm on campus a lot, but my official office hours where you know you'll find me for sure. Uh, I'm in 1310A, which is, uh, oh, like by the, I guess it's kind of like by the math building and then the natural resources building is next to us. And then, uh, and then boom, I'm in 1310 right there. So uh, kind of on the way to industrial arts, that section of campus and then on to ag. Uh, so anyway, so we're, so we're down over there. Uh, 1310A, it's in an old division office. It's kind of cool. So we have a nice little area in there where we have uh, some computers and, uh, a little conference table, and, and then uh, several of us have offices in there. So it's pretty cool. Uh, all right, so anyway, so I'm in there for sure Monday and Wednesday morning uh, from 7 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. I have pretty early office hours because we don't have – any seven o'clock classes and honestly very few eight o'clock classes on campus so i found that's a really good time for students to come by and uh, and see me if they have any questions so uh, you know bring your laptop uh we'll throw it on the table and and see what's going on and, and uh and i can you know hopefully help you with that all right oh and by the way while we're talking about uh getting a hold of me uh i would ask also that when you send me an email or send me a message through canvas uh that you would please include a page number, uh, you know, course and, and page number uh, for what you're talking about. So I, I teach uh, many different courses for the college and and uh, so it helps if I know where you're where you're coming from and, and kind of what page you're on. It helps me identify, you know, where you're at, the problems you may be having and those kinds of things. All right. So so I'll I'll, I'll leave that at that. All right. Um, uh, let's see the other things uh, really quickly. When you are looking at buying a textbook, uh, the book that we're using, buy a used copy. So or rent it, or, you know, or whatever you're um, you're not going to. You're not going to need a new version. So then they're in the new edition. The new edition comes with a disc, but you don't need the disc. All the files you can download. Uh, I make them available in Canvas or the publisher's website has it. Uh, so you don't need that. So buy the cheapest version that you can possibly get. Uh, if you are planning, this is 
Maybe it was a little bit too aggressive at the underlining and bolding. But if you're planning to take CIS 21, uh, which is the second half of this semester, and if you enjoy Canvas, I, or I'm sorry, if you enjoy Access, uh, I would highly recommend the next level because you get to do, uh, you know, kind of more advanced things. It's a little more, I don't know, I think it's really cool. So uh, if you're going to do that, then do not buy this book, the very first book, the introductory version of the book. Uh, instead, look at buying this ISBN number. Uh, that's the second level. So this first one, it will include all the modules that come with our uh, that, or that work with this particular course. So CIS 20, it's modules one through four, um, or chapters if you you know that's kind of the way you look at them too. Uh, so chapters one through four are included in this one, but this book includes uh, chapters one through eight. So chapters five through eight are um, you know for CIS 21. So if you know for sure that you're or you think you might want to take the next level, uh, then buy this book um, because then you'll have you, you don't have to mess around with this one. And then um, there isn't a book that includes chapters five through eight. So then you would have to go ahead and buy this one anyway. All right. So um, just throwing it out there. Uh, if you're on the main campus, we have a reserved copy actually have both of these. So there's for sure two copies that go along with this uh, this particular course. Uh, we have a reserve copy in the 700 building and a reserve copy in the library. So um, if you, you know, want to check them out in there. All right, you will need Microsoft Access 2016. It is not installed as part of like the uh, student edition of Microsoft o Ac or, uh, Office. So um, you are uh, eligible to install a free version of this on up to five computers uh, by being a Shasta College student. And there's a video in Canvas. It's right over here, Office 2016 install free. Uh, and so check that video out. It walks you through how to install it and uh, and it works great. So um, that's that's kind of it. So, um, you know, that's, that's a big thing. Oh, by the way, this little video right here, adjusting video quality on YouTube. Uh, if you have not done that before uh, and you're not really familiar with YouTube, there is a video that shows you how to make things clear. And just really quickly before you even get to it, let me, uh, let me pull this up real quick. Uh, so this is the video and you can see, I mean, it's pretty small anyway, but you can see how blurry this is. So this video walks you through how to, how to change it and just Really quick, I'll just show you, um, and then boom, you come over here, and it's like, oh, it's nice and clean. Look at that. Uh, but anyway, it's this little gear icon down here, and uh, you want to make sure that this is set at 1080p. If it's down at any of these other levels, you know, your internet connection isn't great where you're at. Maybe it's at 360. Then the then the video as you watch it will will not be uh, very good quality. It'll be a little bit blurry and that kind of stuff. Uh, these are recorded at 1080p uh, HD so that you can see them uh, and they're nice and clean and clear. Uh, so when you're watching them that you wanna make sure it's on 1080p and then I would highly recommend maximizing the screen, go to full screen if you want, or, you could, or if you have a bigger screen, you could play it on one side and work maybe on the other. Uh, but but these will, I don't know, hopefully that, that helps you as far as the, the quality level. So make sure, I, I find that most people are familiar with that, but if you're not, it's a little gear icon, run it up to under quality, the highest that you can, which is 1080p for these. Uh, and then I would full screen it while you're watching some of these videos. All right, so anyway, so that's that. Uh, so I can get rid of this little baby. Let's just dump this baby out of here. Okay, um, and that's kind of it for the syllabus too. I, there's uh, six pages of goodness. Um, so anyway, you'll see overview and all those kinds of things, uh, all the topics we're covering and, and outlines and all that kind of stuff. If you need need a, a snoozer, then that's that's uh, that's kind of you see all the stuff in there. All right. So anyway, uh, let's see one other thing in here before we go on to the modules and, and what to expect for the week. Uh, we'll do getting started in a second, but I want to show you the chapter schedule. Uh, so that's available in here. It looks like this. Uh, we have. Uh, you know, spring 2019, you can see we're only what, eight weeks or so. Uh, and so this week you are just getting, purchasing or renting your book. That's the main thing. And then you can see each one of the chapters or modules, uh, you, you know, the due dates here. Uh, and then we'll do a design uh, portion for a final project. And then you finally complete it. So on its first uh, design phase, you're going to had you're going to have, uh, I don't know, a few things you're going to have, uh, you know, you set it all up and you start your, your project. And then, um, then we'll learn a few more things in chapter four, and then we'll move on to the final project where you complete and add some more things in there. So it's kind of cool. I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty fun. So anyway, 
Let's see. You hear me say fun a lot. Sorry, but I do think this is fun. So uh, hopefully you enjoy it as well. All right. Uh, let me let me run back over here and let's take a look at this file. So getting started, just a few things. Uh, so we've already talked about some of them, but um, oh, at the very beginning of the book. So and you can refer to this. It's all typed in here. So if you click on it, it's a Word document. Uh, and this is the Word document. So we're skipping at the beginning of the book. There's a little section. Uh, the way that the pages are on there and the page numbers, they're down at the bottom. Uh, and at the bottom uh, of the of the book you'll see it listed at, at the at the very beginning there's a section that's just called office uh, we're skipping that little office getting started with Microsoft Office section skip that so go straight ahead until the page numbers get to where they say access and you'll see access uh, page one and you'll start with that particular module that's module one all right we've talked about this definitely watch the video on how to do the installs uh, for that uh, if you need a computer on campus that you know you can roll in the 700 building uh, and I, and I know for sure on the Red Bluff campus, the, the labs down there, you'll be able to do it as well. Uh, the types of assignments that we'll do in here, there are three types. So there's a tutorials part, uh, there'll be independent challenges and visual workshops. These are types of assignments, all right? So tutorial, that's just the, the assignment that you'll do as you walk through the chapter. So for example, the first chapter, if I, let me open this module real quick. Uh, and so you can see at the, at the top, we just have uh, you know a PowerPoint just traditional PowerPoint. I include the instructor's manual. Has a few extra things in there. And I've had students tell me that you know they like they like looking at that. It has little quiz questions and it gives you the answer because this is the instructor's version that comes from the publisher, uh, and the PowerPoints do as well. Um, I'll have students that will use both of these and really like them, and and uh, you know we'll, we'll walk through each, kind of each page and all that kind of stuff. And then I have other students that don't use these at all. Um, that just go through the book. They'll go through some of the, you know, the videos that we have in here, uh, and and they're fine with that. But this gives you a little bit more information. All right, let me skip down to assignments. And um, so here we go with the types of assignments. So module one, chapter tutorial. Uh, for this particular assignment, you're going to need this file. So um, when I tell you that you don't need the book, uh, this is where the the file comes in. So we've got this little file right here. Uh, and if you click on the assignment, this is a typical assignment in Canvas that you'll see. Uh, mine looks different than yours, but you see the instructions here. So the tutorials uh, are basically just the chapter. So access page one through access page 17. You're going to download that file and use it as your starting place for uh, creating it. And then you're going to submit this file back uh, for grading later on. All right. So um, hopefully you're familiar with submitting those types of assignments in uh, in Canvas. Again, that, the, that will look a little bit different on your screen uh, than what my screen was doing right there. All right, so then other types, independent challenge. Now these are in the back of the book. So um, when you click on one of those, you'll see uh, this one is on page 24. I try to include the page number and the exact files you'll be downloading uh, so you can see them. And so this is like, there's like a, I don't know, like a yellowish mustardy colored section at the end of each chapter. Uh, and the, these are the, the pages where these assignments come from. So IC3, Independent Challenge 3. All right, same thing with the visual workshops. So the visual workshop files um, down here, you'll see here's another one here. So um, And when you go in there, it'll tell you what page it's on, and that's the file that goes with it. And then there's also a quiz for each chapter. So you'll see the quiz. Now, the quiz are open book. You know, there's no time on there no time constraints or anything like, thing like that where you have to finish it you know within 20 minutes or any of that stuff um, so it's 100 percent up to you how long do you take to do it I, it doesn't matter to me again it's open book so so whatever you need to do these are meant just to kind of just make sure that you, you know you you didn't miss anything kind of along the way that's the way i look at them so um so you've got the quizzes there uh and then for this particular module i have three videos so an access overview uh, what i would do if i was you is i would watch this first uh, then go through the chapter, uh, you know, working through the chapter tutorial uh, as you go through each page and then perhaps watch it again to make sure, you know, that you don't have any questions or anything along the way. Or when you get to creating relationships in the, which is the key to, uh, to what we're doing in database, uh, you want to watch this video. OK, so this will this will kind of help you and make sure that you understand what's going on in this video uh, and and in the book, too. But I think the video describes it a little bit better just because I'm able to walk you through and you can see it and. So you click on things and all that. Uh, and then this video is a common error that you see when you're uh, dealing with relationships. So already in use error. It just means you have things open that you shouldn't. Uh, and that shows you uh, in the video, you'll see that. So you'll probably see this error at some point. Uh, but anyway, so we've got those those three videos in there for you to uh, to work through. Uh, there's one other thing in the, in the, getting, or in the uh, module one section. 
uh, and you'll see I put these in each one, uh, the peer forums. So module one, peer help forums. I try to check my messages all the time, but I'm not online 24 hours a day. So I like to include these uh, little peer help forums. I, I found that as people get more familiar now with, I mean, when I taught this course, I don't know, 10 years ago or more, people weren't, uh, I don't know, there weren't as many resources available like YouTube and, and places where you can search through Google and find answers. Uh, so these are used more, but I, you know, it's still, it's still, I think, nice to have them. So uh, if you have a question, you can't figure something out, uh, you know, you can post a message to this peer help forum. And I encourage you, if you see a message in there and you're like, oh, wait, I know the answer to that, go ahead and answer it. Uh, because, um, you know, you may be up at 2 a.m. And, and have a question and post something and then someone else is like, oh, this just popped up. Oh, I know what that is. And you can answer it before I wake up the next day and see it. All right. So um, if you have a question, you can use that for for posting. OK, uh, let's see. Let me roll back through here again real quick. Oh, while we're talking about the files. Sorry, let me jump back over here real quick. So these are the files that are needed for each specific assignment. If you would like, you can download all of the files uh, right here. Now, there are files in here we will not use. Uh, because there are more assignments in the, in the chapter that uh, we don't get to. I try and pick ones that I like and that kind of, you know, encompass everything we want to learn. But there are some extras in there that, that we don't use. But if you're like, oh, I want all the files, this link will take you to them. It just jumps into like this and you can even just right click and say, you know, save link as and, and save all of them. It's a zip file, so you'll have to extract it. But, uh, but those are all available. I would say most people don't do that. Um, but just in case, I figured, well, I throw the link on there from the publisher just in case you want to do that all right so so that is available all right uh let's see so let me jump back over here real quick uh, we have um peer discussion i talked about powerpoint we talked about um inbox again we talked about how to get a hold of me so we're looking pretty good at all this stuff again this just gives you another place to look at these uh and that's about it so um the very last thing in here things that are due so just like probably other classes that you've taken uh i use a sunday at, at 11 59 p.m as the due date for all these assignments uh that you'll see listed each week so for the first well this is the second week technically but uh for the first module we are going to have three assignments due uh you'll always have a chapter tutorial you'll always have an independent challenge and you will always have a visual workshop so you'll see those in there and then the quiz as well i do not take late assignments so don't miss these all right so they're due uh by 11 59 on those days otherwise they won't be available to you okay so um I guess that's uh, that's kind of it. Again, don't skip these videos. Make sure you watch them. You won't see videos in you know for everything. Uh, I find that after the first module, that usually uh, students are pretty comfortable with uh, you know using the book and and uh, you know figuring things out along the way. And so I, I don't have a ton of videos after that. And I know this video was a little bit lengthy. These other videos are not as long. So don't uh, don't stress that they're all they're all this long because because they're not. All right. So uh, so they're a little they're a little bit a little bit shorter. I think this like this one is you know a couple minutes and this one's a couple minutes. So uh, so anyway. So there's that. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Again, um, you can practice using the little uh, you know the inbox in. Um, in Canvas. Oh, that's over here. Let me move this over real quick. Or slide some baby over here. So we're looking if I was to pull this down. Um, so here's the inbox in here. So you can use that to send a message. So get in the box, create a message, you know, and you can send me uh, send me a message in there if you haven't done it before. So the inbox option right there. Uh, and that's uh, I think that's about it for now. All right. So thank you for enduring this uh, lengthy video. Again, this is longer than normal. I promise. Uh, and if you have any questions, I, I know I talk fast, uh, but I figure in a video you can just pause, rewind, go back, that kind of stuff. So, um, so anyway, so that's that. And again, I backed up some of this stuff with a Word document just in case you like to read. Uh, so we have we have that kind of good stuff too. Sorry. Uh, let's see. I think that's about it. So any questions that pop up, let me know. And uh, I hope you enjoy Microsoft Access and uh, have fun getting started. Thanks.